football or soccer as it's known in the United States, but we all know its real name is football. I love football. The game, the fans, the excitement, the upsets in the, uh, the matches, the players, the tantrums, the stories. And most of all, the pinnacle of the sport is the World Cup, which happens once every four years. It's fantastic. And it's administered by FIFA. The initial group stages of the World Cup take a bit slow to get going as teams are more focused in not losing and trying to get to the knockout round with the top 16. So quite often um, the initial games are quite dull and you want to get through them as quickly as possible. You get quite a lot of draws in those matches. Hmm. Now FIFA, the World Cup governing body of football, that corrupt money laundering outfit, They've decided to extend, from uh, 2026 I believe, the amount of teams in the World Cup from 32 up to 48? Pfft. Why on earth would they be wanting to do this? Well, I've written it down here, FIFA President Gianni Infantino um, hasn't been seem to be corrupt yet, but uh, is it a matter of time? I don't know. He says the decision is not just uh, financially driven. Well, that's all right then. I believe them. It's not just financially driven. Oh, no. Uh, he wants the tournament to be more inclusive so that smaller nations can experience the joy of the World Cup. Well, I'm calling bull smoke on this one. We all know with FIFA, it's just all about the money. They're all in it for the money. The sport has uh, fallen down. They just want to generate more television income. We don't need 48 teams. Uh, the point of whittling it down to 32 teams is that we have the cream of the crop uh, in play. So you've got the most exciting uh, matches. By including more teams, more countries, it dilutes it. What's the point of having the qualifiers and knocking out the lesser teams if you're going to... Ah! It just makes no sense apart from for money. Don't believe me? Well, listen to this fact then. In the World Cup, there are 64 games. With this imposed increase of teams, it goes up to 80 games, which has been estimated that it will create for FIFA anything from more revenue to 600 to 800 million. That's quite a lot of money. Are they concerned about the sport? I'm, I'm not quite sure. The whole thing's restructuring, um, you know. Is it for the better? I, I, I don't think it is. Keep it the same. So FIFA are saying it's all about diversity, giving all countries, the whole world, a chance to compete in the World Cup. Are FIFA a good moral barometer? A barometer of morality? What do you think? Are they just doing it for the cash, or are they really concer concerned about bringing all countries in? I know. Why not, if we want to bring everyone in, why not have no qualifiers at all and have a World Cup featuring about 200 countries? Yeah! No, let's, let's not do that. So this is how the new World Cup's going to work. I believe it might be Mexico in 2026 or thereabouts. Basically, we're going to change the format of the, uh, the group stage. So we're going to have 16 groups of three teams. Hmm... And um, if it's a draw at the end, we get a penalty shootout. That's to stop teams playing for draws. You think, oh yeah, that's quite good then. If the opening matches uh, tend to be uh, draws, they might play for a win and it's penalty shootout, so it's got to be a winner uh, eventually. That makes sense, does it? Well, not really. Say you've got, um, I don't know, Outer Mongolia playing Brazil. They might play defensive for the whole game without any intention of trying to win. They'll put all 11 players on the cross the goal, just trying to kick it away. So they'll be defending for 90 minutes in the hope of when it gets down to penalties, the randomness of the whole thing, they get a fluke win. And all lesser teams are going to be doing that, aren't they? They aren't going to be playing properly. So you're going to have lots and lots of games where it's generating the money, the revenue, but you've got, you've got a nothing game. Now, hopefully I'm wrong, but I fear I might be correct on this. So, 16 groups of three teams. So, that means two teams go through from each group. So, we're only losing one team before we get to the final 32 in the knockout stage. Absolutely pointless. Also, as well, another thing to bear in mind. People that collect Panini football stickers, OK? Instead of trying to get the, uh, the World Cup book with 32 teams and all their badges and country flags and stuff, they've now got to collect 48. That's going to cost an absolute fortune. Imagine trying to swap those stickers. It's going to take you much longer than the World Cup even exists. 
this really this really has annoyed me really I mean I mean back in the day there was far less um, teams when I played a uh, kickoff uh, two uh, an Amiga game from the 90s I think there was just about 24 teams in there or thereabouts and then 16 qualified into the final knockout stage so 24 now up to 48 so we're almost doubled they do say in argument of their diversity, there would be an extra place, I think, for some Asian teams and African teams. Well, OK. But to be honest with you, if countries are good enough, they, they will qualify for the World Cup anyway. So we've got, just got the cream of the crop. As I mentioned before, what's the point of having qualifiers if you can have a big bunch of teams there anyway? FIFA are dopes. FIFA. 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 They're not a functioning governing body of football. They're just a major money laundering racket where everyone can take um, money uh, throughout their echelons of society. What does that? That doesn't even make sense. But they're all on the take. There's um, there's been many exposés, and still, still FIFA are a governing football. Set Blatter had to stand down, and now we've got this new this new guy in. Is he doing it for the greater good, or is he doing it for the cash? He's doing it for the cash. That's all FIFA care about. Please don't ruin my World Cup, although I sense they, they might do. There's going to be more boring games in the group stage. It might be, It's probably going to be as exciting when we get to the knockouts, but why do we have to sit through 80 games? I mean, the amount of games that individual teams have to play are the, roughly the same, or exactly the same, just seven, but we've got all this dross around the main, main event. It's going to be Boredom City, a lot of these matches, and uh, I don't know. FIFA. What a load of crap. Ah!